We are Affinity. What's going on? Let's play some Affinity here. All right. <laughs> um, interesting hand. Uh, probably a keeper for Affinity. We got the Dark Steel Ornithopter. Yep, definitely going to be a keep. Can we get Emery out turn one? I don't believe we can. Our opponent goes first, so that could be interesting. Spire Bluff Canal. All right. If we get a zero drop, we might have a chance. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Okay, so yeah. Cast Ornithopter. Cast Ornithopter. Go for the Glimmer Void. Blue. And Emery, Lurker of the Lock. We get some decent cards. Got to hope our opponent doesn't have two removal spells. Otherwise, we lose our land. But they're going to be the cycling decks. Okay, so they're looking to just return what's in their graveyard. All right. Good to know. We got to kill them fast. Ooh, but they are short lands. That is interesting. Well, we don't need colors right now. This will be our third artifact. So if we play our fourth artifact which will be Signal Pest. Then Frogmite. Then I think we're one away from casting the Thought Monitor for free. We'll take a spring leaf drum. And what do we potentially want to shut down in their deck? Gonna ask the old uh, hive mind here. Because see, the Pithing Needle is actually there for a target for Urza Saga. It's a one of in the deck. So check out the Living End combos. All right, so our best bet is probably going to be a land. We're going to go with Flooded Strand. And let's see. Yep, Flooded Strand. Just in case they have it. And nothing to attack with this turn, but potentially big damage next turn. Oop, all right. Oh, there's their second land. We're going to target Thought Monitor. Draw some cards. Middle cest is interesting. I don't think we can get there this turn though with it. But we can set up for a bigger turn next turn. Yeah, we just have two mana potentially. That costs three.
So we'll just swing in for a bit of damage here. Ooh, grief in the graveyard. There's their third land. That might be it for us. Because they've got that grief in the graveyard, so they'll take the nettle zest. Shardless agent. Yep. There's the Misty, there's the Flooded. It's okay, so they did at least have Flooded Strand. We get a Mur Enforcer. Yep, this is now a tricky spot. If they hadn't had the grief in the graveyard, I would have been in a little bit better of a position with Nidalecest, but I think they've got us game one. Ah, Menace, right. Do we care about losing our creature? How many artifacts do we have? All right, we block the street wraith then. And hope for a really good top deck. Land is not going to do it. We probably need it. Let me see. Would have been plus eight. And no, it would have been plus nine because they say we got either Nettle Cest or Cranial Plating. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Would have been literally one off from killing him, but oh well. We'll concede that. Go to the next round. Knowing that, we may do better to leave some cards in the graveyard. With that said, we definitely want these Soul Guide Lanterns. Don't really need the Pithing Needle. Feel like we don't need this, that. And let's cut one Signal Pest. They're a little slow. Other things I could potentially sideboard. That doesn't wor work in this situation because it says non artifact spell. So, Shardless Agent's an artifact. Hmm. I think I have to keep that. And hope for a color source.
If we can hit a color source, I think we'll be in a really good spot. Unlikely they do anything this turn. Considering for their deck to work, they can't have a one drop. Doesn't quite do what I need it to. But we will swing him for four. And cycling. Let's see what we draw. All right, well, it would be good if we had more mana. Actually. We can spring leaf drum. And at least have it out. Or would we rather Emery? That's actually a tough call. If we Emery, we'll have cards in the graveyard, so they'll be less likely to, to try and go off next turn. So we'll try and get some cards in the graveyard here. Swing in for a bit of damage. Ooh, we got the Soul Guide Lantern in the graveyard. Nice. Not the best, but we at least will end up with. Okay, that's not the best. So they may actually go uh, go for it this round. Actually, if they don't go for it this round, we just swing all out. Right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, one short. And they know it too. Ooh, that's a nice draw. Oh, are they going to go for it now? Um, can they go for it now? They can go for it now. Yep. Ah, 
violent outburst, yeah. No, that's no, we're still in a bad spot here. Not quite what they would have wanted, I think, but we're still in a rough spot. draw a land we may have a chance if we can draw an artifact land we have a chance if they swing all out as well we need a dark steel citadel pretty much right and they're just gonna hard cast that Okay, that's going to be game. We'll go to game two here. That one's a bit rough. I am still working on getting cards. A lot of decks, uh, or the new affinity builds, are running Mishra's Bobble. Mishra's Bobble online is like 50 bucks. I was not expecting that. Okay, only one land... But two zero drops, a one drop, uh, that's going to be a keep. I may be playing this wrong. I have not gotten that many test games in yet. Ooh, Talaria West. Okay, that's nice. Do I play that over the Urza Saga? I think I might, right? Yes. That for blue. Emery of the Lock. Get some cards in that graveyard. Get out of Frogmite. Ooh, Bluetron. Interesting. What would I rather have at this point? Honestly, um, we'll just get another Midmite. And we'll go to combat. Swing him for a little bit of damage. Ooh, and get out the signal pest. All of a sudden, that board's a little scarier. Oh, but field of ruin. Ooh. Okay.
We'll see if that forces a response. Yep. Makes sense. Ooh, and a repeal. All right, that worked out pretty effectively for him. But we still get in there for a bit of damage. Ooh, that's closer to Tron. All right. Oh, they waited for me to activate activate the Emery. I see what they did. Yep. So I definitely misplayed that a little bit. I should have attacked first, gotten in the extra damage. Oh, hello, Karn. How much do I need my activated abilities? Somewhat. They're going to go grab an artifact. And it's going to be... Oblivion Stone. Nice. Well, that's actually pretty annoying, so we'll just grab a pithing needle here. Naming Oblivion Stone. Get back the signal pest. Swing three at Karn, and one here. And then we should pass turn like this, holding up that Urza activation. Okay, um, do we want another one? Nope, I don't think we do. Take another spring leaf drum.
And this should probably be it for them because I, I think they have a bounce spell in hand. I don't believe they're going to have a way to deal with. And something nice about Nettlecast here is to equip it. Let's move it over here to this frog. Begin combat. And they're going to scoop. Nice. So they had an answer for the construct. They were going to bounce it back to my hand to get rid of it. They didn't have an answer for me having another way to swing damage at them. All right. Nice. We'll go to game two. What matters in this matchup game two? Do we bring this in? Each player is casting. Uh, no, that stops bigger things. Our graveyard hate doesn't do anything. Maybe in its champion. Protection's pretty powerful, but then again, they run a lot of colorless threats that. Maybe we just bring in some metallic rebukes. We'll go down a shadow sphere and a welding jar. And most of their threats aren't going to be destroy effects. That said, we'll see what hate cards they bring in. Okay. Two lands, a zero drop, one artifact. Do we keep this? I do think we keep, although it's not really a good hand. Hopefully our top deck can improve it. And I uh, would not mind another zero drop. Expedition map. Or a top deck pithing needle. Actually, hmm. This could be rough. Uh, my thought process may have been a little off on this. So that's three. But three doesn't actually cast anything. I was thinking we could at least get to the frog mite, but apparently not. Well, no, yeah, wait, no, hold on, my math is off, but in the opposite direction, because it's discounted by two, I don't need three and one, I can do two and two. But next turn, I don't have it, the seven drops yet. But a Nurse's Saga is nice. We could play a 6 drop, but not a 7 drop. Go ahead and swing in, get our chip damage. This where they bounce cards back to my hand. This is where they bounce cards back to my hand. Or crack the expedition map.
Okay, they were looking to hold up the counter, but they chose just to play it. Interesting. As a blocker, I see. Let's see what they do in response to this. They'll trade there. They'll they'll go for the double trade. All right. Um, can we come back from this? I don't actually think we can. Too many big drops. Not enough uh, little stuff to get them out. I'm at Urza Saga next turn, but I have a feeling they were going to. Yep. We can flood out in the seven drops, it looks like. All right, at least we get the die roll here, so we play first. Good bit of lands, things to do, spring leaf drum. Not the best, but I think I'm going to keep. And we're going to start off. So if we go Urza too early, we don't get the activations. Tower. All right, colorless source is nice. We'll just take the opportunity to run out that out. Oop, there's some mana ramp. And a relic. All right, well, I think we play a land and pass. Will Metallic rebuke that? Sure. What do we want? Springleaf drum, correct? No, we'll go for a pithing needle. We're going to make Karin Great Creator just a non factor in these games. Indestructible lands are nice when against the Filter Ruin.
All right, they're going to draw a card and go into three mana. They may have another land in hand, so potentially four. Still have their blue sources. That matters. All right, yep, extra tower. They can stall us pretty easily. I, the constructs are really the only thing they can attack is with a bounce. All my lands are indestructible, so field of real wouldn't really do anything unless they just want more blue. They can bounce the construct to get rid of the 8 8, but then everything else would just redeploy if they bounced it. Ooh, walking ballista on two. All right. Nice. Which threat did I think is bigger? That seems correct. I wish I could have moved both of them, but yep, and they're gonna kill the frog. But now they have to answer both our threats this turn. Cranial platings are now equipped, so Karn has less text. Urza Saga comes online again, which is relevant text as well. Although Karn does shut down all my lands, they still need an answer to the current board state. All but one land. Thirst for knowledge, trying to find an answer. I'm not sure what answer they can find here. And all right. Let me get the chat up for some reason. Usually it pops up on my side screen. Okay, I don't know where that is then. All right, well, we'll go to game three. Guess I turned it off somehow. We are one and one, a loss to Living End, which, yeah, seemed like it was definitely going to be rough, and a win against Mono Bluetron. Living in is definitely a popular build. That turn three, get a bunch of creatures. Even if it's not the most, like a lot of the older builds would actually build up a little more for the living in. These fast ones, just like, three to four big creatures is about all it takes. Especially, yeah, adding grief into that seems pretty powerful. We're seeing a lot of the same cards kind of repeat in a bunch of different decks. So, that's interesting. It means... Uh, I'm kind of curious if they are going to take the approach of, because all these cards are in so many different decks, usually if a card's in a bunch of decks, that means it's going to get banned, but if uh, if all the cards, they, they may just be trying to force a new meta, I mean, this does it, we'll see what ends up happening with it. 
I still think we're going to see bands, though. Urza Saga. Seems like it just slides into too many decks. Grief. Granted, there's less grief decks than I thought, but this, like that deck shows more decks are trying it out, not just the grief ephemerate combo. Oh, there's my chat log. All right, got the die roll. Let's see this opening hand. It's a lot of lands, but I don't necessarily think this is bad. Yeah, we'll keep. Cast the Ornithopter. No mana accelerant, so we'll go for the bridge. Ooh, Tron. Looking like a mono green build. All right. Second Ornithopter. Dark Steel. Frogmite. Draw some cards. We are definitely set up low to the ground here. There is Tron. All right, so our best top deck here is Cranial Plating. Nope. Well, we'll get a Nurse of Saga out. Nothing else we can do. We're actually out of things. Get in for six damage. Perhaps going for the Urza Saga sooner when knowing we're against Tron might have been the play. Uh, it would have put me closer to getting a Pithing Needle out. Turn one would have been rough, but... Hmm. Assuming this is going to be a Karn of some kind. Um, we can answer a Karn Great Creator decently. Oh, well, Drazitron. All right. Sure. Oh, they have Chalice. Hmm. Well, tempting as that is. I think we just go for this. Dismember? I'm on to you, Sneaky. They have a dismember. There's not much we can do about it. Yep. I guess the one thing we could have done would have been to equip it to something else. Ooh, Warping Whale, yep. Quite a bit of answers here. And they got Mana Ramp. Uh, 
All right, and they don't believe they have an answer to that 7-2. But Chalice could be annoying, especially Chalice on zero. I feel like we bring in some Metallic Rebukes and some Disenchants. Get rid of the Welding Jars. Yeah, we'll cut a signal pest. Shadow Spear might come in handy. That lose indestructible text. Maybe I'm at, eh. It's unlikely to help us get rid of an Ulamog, but it could help us get rid of an Ulamog. Kind of cool seeing, seeing Affinity back. So this was actually my second paper deck. Um, right after, um, a little after the, no, yeah, right, pretty much right after the cons block. Uh, Tron had just picked up uh, Ugin, and I had a bunch of extra trade value. So I'm like, I'm going to pick up another deck, and this is the one I went with. A lot different in this form. It definitely went through that whole period of, oh, it's good. It's a little less good. It's a little less good. It's a little less good. It's dead, and they seem to have, you know, they, they made an attempt at bringing it back. Uh, if we lose Urza's Saga in this, I do think this build disappears again. These lands are nice, but they're tap lands. That's a little rough. Okay, let's see what we can do. It'd be funny if we go against all the different Tron var varieties here. We've gotten a blue Tron. We're going up against an Eldrazi Tron. All right, so three lands. That looks like a keepable hand. Our opponent goes first, so our best draw will probably be a zero, and we'll go for the Springleaf Drum if that happens. Okay, well, good thing we didn't keep a hand with a zero in it. Is there any benefit to just running out the Springleaf Drum? No, I'd rather the two mana next turn. We're going to go for the Frogmite into the turn. Ooh, did they just have it? Wow, that could be a really good hand. I wish there was a way to hold up Metallic Rebuke here, but I don't think I, there's any possibility of that. I can do one, but no one cost spell, so yep. If this is... Yeah, this could just be it. Oh, but it's a reality smasher. All right. Sure, we'll take some damage. Do we go for the blocker? Ooh. 
That's a tough call. And we actually don't attack here because we have held up Metallic Rebuke. So that, that'll be interesting. Let's see what they go for. Oof, but they held up mana. That's... Do we have any other choice? If that resolves, we're just dead. They're at least going to make it so they can only play one thing here. What did they plus on? Nothing? Wait. That token's not an artifact, is it? No, okay, they plussed on the... Ah, I see what they did. So they plussed on the enchantment to make it fall off the artifact. Clever and something they can do. Yeah, this is uh, like their best possible hand to beat us, Summit. I really don't think we recover from just Tron. And depending on what they grab, um, this may just be game. Karn, Great Creator, is really rough shutting down my lands. Do I beat that? No, I don't beat Worm Coil. I think that's such a threat that we need an extra Pithing Needle over the Shadow Spear. And yeah, Metallic Rebuke. Uh, I guess that I'm playing it against a Tron deck. They can just outmana it. Got the Dyro. Let's see the opening hand. Slow. Is it too slow? Land and land and. Hmm. If we get a good top deck. But they can shut us down. Nope, we're mulligan. And that's a better keep. Yep, I am much more a fan of this keep. Because we'll get out the early years of Saga, get out the signal pest. Mm, too much land. Well, we can get rid of that snow covered island.
There's a saga. Signal fest. All right, well, that shuts down my zero drops. Did they just have Tron again? Okay, that's a little annoying. We're going to go ahead and take care of that big threat. But we haven't done much. And if they have... Ugh. They have Tron next turn, we could be in trouble. We count on the top three because we should be able to cast a thought monitor next turn. Okay, so thought not seer? Nope. Nice. Oh, that's very nice. Because that makes that very cheap to cast. And we'll go for a frog mite. Then we'll go for another thought monitor. This will be the removal if they have it. Yep. But that is fine. Because what we have on the board currently is very hard to remove. Do they have Tron now? That would probably be their best. Bless him. He gets rid of the Pithing Needle. Ooh, I'll get, just don't mind if I do. Do we go for a big thing? No, we go for flying, even if they have a dismember. Go for the nettle cyst. We can actually dodge our zero and one drops pretty well.
Yeah, do we force them to block? I think we do. Oop, yep. Question is, how much more removal do they have? Actually, they're probably better off not blocking this turn. It depends on whether they want to dig for a threat or... Corn buys them time. They get rid of... Uh, they would likely kill the frog. That shuts, slows us down more. But we're in a really good spot, even still. Okay, so they are going to trade. They have a reality smasher. Do they play it? Ah. So they can kill a two drop. Well, we're going to let them decide if they want to use it as a blocker or a killer. Probably both. Because they definitely need to block that. Actually, I may have had them dead now that I think about it. They only have one blocker. I could have moved it over to the token. Yeah, my bad. Didn't think that through, and that is my bad. But, didn't matter, so... Yeah, had I just attacked in the with both, uh, and then transferred at the end, that would have done it. Been a while since I played Affinity, gotta get used, and it was a very technical deck back in the day. Like, you were doing math all the time, trying to add up to 20. But yeah, well, I hope everyone out in the, uh, watching the video made it. If you made it to uh, the third ep or third match, awesome. Thank you for watching. Let me know down in the description uh, what decks you're running right now. If you're thinking about pulling Affinity or if you uh, watch my channel for Tron. Uh, by the way, I got a new deck in here uh, for reaching 300 subscribers. Did a video about that. So thank you everyone who subscribed and is watching these and uh, enjoying the content. It's awesome whenever you get to hear from you guys. It's awesome for the support. <laughs> but yeah, let me... Let me know what decks you're playing, though, right now. You know, or if you're looking at uh, what do you think is going to be good coming up. Uh, I've got my thoughts that um, I don't think we're close to settling yet. There's a few things that are like Urza's Kitchen. Uh, Affinity's kind of fallen off, but it's at least playable now from the look of it. We, we're two wins. We, if we can get one more, we're 3-1. We're going. Let's see if we can get that 4-1, four, four though. 
That's what we're going for at this point. Not a land, not a keep. Into a bunch of lands, but I think I do have to keep. Pitch the Glimmer Void. All right. Get a first look what our opponent is up to. Godless Shrine. Interesting, interesting. We'll play a tap land. Polluted Delta. Good to know. Jace. Uh, that means some graveyard. I could try and guess Polluted Delta again, but I'm going to go Jace Vern's Prodigy. Just so they're stuck with a 0 2. Well, you can get an instant or a sorcery card out of my hand if you like. They know our hand now, though. Which could be rough. <laughs> All right, sure. Swing your zero two. Got to respect it. Get that cranial plating out. Get the frog out. And I should be one off, but I may as well try. Yep. Oh. Well, you know, why not? Nice, so we're going to go Urza Saga. Tap, tap. Activate Urza Saga. And Thought Monitor. Oh, they could have a cryptic at this point, though. That'd be rough. We're going to go to combat. Swing for the nine because they have the blocker here. Yep. Uh, 
and hope they don't have a board wipe. Ooh, gifts. All right. That mm, that may not be good. So the cards I choose go to the graveyard. Up to four. So they're forcing me to put these in their graveyard. Clever. Yep. I don't think that saves them though, if they go for that this turn. Uh, anything else in the graveyard save them? I don't believe so. No, I think we have them. Unless uh, they've got something in their hand. The Iona doesn't really affect us that much because we only have a few things with colors. Okay, sure. Ah, uh, I messed up. Let's grab a, a welding jar. All right, and then we go to combat. Could have been a little more mana, mana efficient here. All right. And we were going to generate another token to, yep. So we would have, we were presenting 17 at that point and we were gonna generate another token uh, to get us to 18. What do we want? Um, is this what we want? Or do we perhaps want the metallic rebukes? I've been liking the metallic rebukes. I like the welding jars here too, though. I don't really feel like we need this. Or a signal pest. Hard to say on these, they are pretty effective. Um, can't cast additional non artifacts, that would limit them to one spell a turn, but. 
Unless they have artifacts. Eh. It's slow, though. I feel like we need that against a really aggro deck, and we're not really facing an aggro deck. Disenchant. Yeah. Didn't really put anything out. No, I think just having a few counters will be the best. Maybe, you know what? Oh, too late. Maybe we want a little bit of graveyard interaction. Oh, that seems keepable. Although that Inquisition is rough. Goodbye, Ornithopter. Ooh. Okay, so they have another way. They have, that tells me they have creature destruction. Well, why play the Ornithopter and do it? Because they're going to have a Kozilek, Inquisition of Kozilek that'll be live as well. All right. That guy's still a bit away, though. On the instep. Hmm. Yep. Spring leaf drum, right? Yeah, I feel like we want a spring leaf drum. Give himself something else they'll have to think about. And I think we have an effective turn next turn. It depends on how much removal they have in hand, though. Yep, they can indeed fatal push. Double fatal push. Mm, nope, that's painful.
All right, we'll just put out a bunch of four fours. I now see why Sanctum of Ugin's included in here, and I gotta say, it's pretty nice. All right, so they need some interaction or they need to combo here. Or they need a Supreme Verdict. That'll do. That will do. Should have held some back in reserves, but that's kind of hard with an aggro deck. You want to just go all out. We have a lot of lands, but oof. Not much else. Not drawing any of our action. I think we continue to stall. We want to put out a bunch of stuff at once. Granted, we're letting them rebuild as well, but... I don't see what one Memnite's going to do here. We'll hold up the Metallic Rebuke in case they go for something massive. Okay. That's a pretty effective hand refuel that meant there. Okay, we'll go for it. Thought monitor would have been decent, but now we at least have some creatures. Well, that's unfortunate. We already drew our island. Oh, that's painful. I'm willing to concede to that. <laughs> you know what? Edge Champion, I think, is what we really need. Not the Metallic Rebukes. Disenchant is rough, but it is instant, so maybe we bring a few of these in as well. It's hard knowing what to cut. Nettle cyst is good. Yeah. All right, that looks like a keep. I 
That's a turn one Emery Lurker of the Lock. And Springleaf Drum is something they definitely want to answer. Nice. For next turn. Let's see if they have an answer for the Edge Champion. Board wipes would do it, but we need to find a way to actually do something too. Uh, best draw here would be, yeah, probably um, cranial pl plating at this point. Gonna hold up the path to see what I have, I think. Unfortunately, that is free because I've already played my island. That was a mistake because I wasted my color source. And I should have cast my spring leaf drum there. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, that was poorly thought out on my part. Also not my best choice. Yeah, perhaps should have held the Emery back. That would have been a good recover if they wiped the board. Oh, 
Like that. I should have known when they targeted the welding jar. Yes, the yeah, protection may not be the best, but maybe we just go. Do we go big things and try and force a kill? I think we do. I think they were counting pretty heavily on that board wipe so it's just a matter of do they have another way to interact we're not completely out this time three cards in hand all right so we'll see what they have We'll keep this in hand just in case. And go ahead and swing. Oop, yep. Shark Typhoon. Get yourself a 2 2. Three cards in hand. We've got to deal three more damage to him. And they don't have it. All right. We are three and one. We are going to game four. Let me think. It, it's playing pretty interesting. It's playing... So the, the version I joined in on wasn't the original Affinity. In fact, a lot of people preferred to call it just robots because it moved away. It was playing more Arcbound Ravagers and Steel Overseers. Um, it was one step removed from the Hardened Scales Affinity deck, honestly. Because yeah, that, that was the next iteration. Which was powerful for a good while. In fact, it kind of is because Hardened Scales Affinity... Uh, kind of have the same play style. I consider it like the spiritual successor to the Helliard life combo right now. So uh, some roots and kind of hammer time too. It finds a little bit of simu similarities with affinity. Um, I think I keep that.
Okay, interesting. They created a monkey. I really want a blue source. Mm, that Inquisition's a little painful. Yep, make sure it's bobble. And do you swing with the monkey? All right, then, yeah. Well, we can't let them go off. Maybe not a good keep. I may be thinking that this deck is not as, yeah. Ugh. Deck is definitely not the same thing as traditional affinity. So maybe an all zero drop hand is not as good. Do we let this through? I think we have to. Okay, that's a little... Hmm. Oh, they get to play my top card. All right. Well, I would not have minded a welding jar. Did they kick that? I think they kicked that. Okay, that's going to be probably impossible to recover from. I need to tap that beforehand, too. Hmm. Well, we're not letting that monkey do any more damage. But yeah, a couple of misplays. See, this is a lot of cards from a single set that just created a new deck. And Kroxa, yay, take some damage. I don't think I've come up against this before. We're probably dead here, but that potential life link could save us. Mm. 
Nope, that will do it. What do we want? Maybe is this what we're running these for? This seems a little too late game. Yeah, I think I want these. Maybe we needed some distant chance. It's hard to say. Definitely take that die roll. That's got no lands. It's got one land, that's not good. No. I think this is gonna be our keep. It's a yes, a yes, a yes, a yes. Is that, uh, do we get rid of the late game pieces? I think we have to. That is not the best start. We've got the bobble. And an inquisition. And there goes Emery. Unfortunately, we've only discounted it by one, so no luck. But double Urza Saga is nice. That's almost, that's power in and of itself. Never mind. Okay, that's a new interaction. Um, I lose to that interaction pretty hard here. Because, yeah. So these are Saga still. But they lose all Saga abilities. So they go instantly to the graveyard? What are they losing? I kind of see why that works but i kind of don't choose a name lose all land types and abilities so there are still enchantments there's still lands there's there urza saga is the land type that lose that it gains this but yeah but it would still have the counters wouldn't it I mean, they're going to win, so this is a 3-2 league here, but that's that's worth knowing for Tron. Like, I want that uh, an Alpine moon in my Tron sideboard now. They've successfully depleted our hand. We have uh, a... T yeah. I don't know why I'm doing that, but 
And a hell of a time to get three years of sagas. All right, well, I'm going to have to look at I'm going to end this here. Uh, we'll go ahead and open the pack we get, see if there's anything good. Thank you guys again for uh, 300 subscribers. We'll see. <laughs> We'll see what we do for 400, if we can get there. Other products, yep. Open one of these. Overgrown Tomb, I'll take it. All right, thank you for watching. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.